Hey guys, Cameron with CBM Reviews here, and I'm here with the one and only Diane Pershing. You may know Diane from the Batman animated series where she played Poison Ivy. She's here at the Arkansas Comic Con, and I wanted to get a few questions in with her one on one. Diane, thank you for coming My to pleasure. Arkansas. My pleasure. I'm so, having a wonderful time. That's great. Tell us a little bit about how you got started uh, in your career, not just voice acting, but... Oh, my first... Well, I've been an actor my whole life, and I studied theater arts at, at UCLA, and then I, my first job was on the road as a backup singer with Johnny Mathis, and then I sang quite a bit over the next few years, then I started doing some commercials, did a lot of musical comedy theater, and then I kind of fell into voiceovers, and it became the thing that I've made my living at. Tell us about the uh, like the hiring process. How did you get the role of Poison Ivy? For oh, this? that was pure serendipity. I was there to do a just a casual role, a reporter or something, and the person that they had thought they were going to use as Poison Ivy, the producers decided they didn't quite like the voice. And Andrea Romano, who was directing the episode, said to me, "Would you like to audition for this?" And I went, "Sure." And I auditioned, and I got the job. And now the rest is history. Well, kind of. <laughs> Do you have a, a favorite moment or a favorite episode throughout the tenure of this show? Yeah, actually, what happened with a lot of our characters, the writers realized they had hired really good actors. All of us were, were pretty good actors. And so they started writing more complex characters for us. And the episode that was called Home and Garden where Poison Ivy has a family, a husband and children. Was that written by Paul Dini? It might have been. I don't, I'm afraid I don't know. It might have been because Paul has always been very good to me. He loves Poison Ivy. Yeah, he does. He does. But Home and, and Garden? Home and Garden, that's probably the one that I had the most challenge, but not a problem. I had a wonderful time. Thank you. Uh, so, is there anything else that you want to say to my viewers here? I have found doing these cons, which I've done for the last three years or so, I've found them to be the most amazing and eye-opening experience because I'm meeting all kinds of people that I never would have met in my life. I'm seeing all kinds of parts of the country I never go to. And I'm finding out that something I did was basically a voiceover job 27 years ago affected so many people and made a difference in their lives. You know, you don't know that when you're an actor. And it's kind of wonderful to get the feedback. Well, thank you very much for coming. Uh, you can meet Diane in person at the Arkansas Comic Con this weekend, the 7th and the 8th of September. But if you can't make it, you can always catch her in episodes of Batman the Animated Series on the DC Universe app. Diane, thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you so much.